Elias is feeding the chickens this morning. Dad, chicken just shared the tomato. Yep. The other one. That's good that they shared. So today they're working on the purlins on the garage so we can put the roof on the garage. The purlins is the horizontal boards that go on that. We're at the back of the garage now. What'd you say, babe? Not dead. I'm very thirsty is what I said. What'd you get done so far today, handsome? We got this done up here. Come on. What? Right, no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we all got, the sheathing? We sheathing? got this done. Yeah. Okay. Uncle Darren had put the first layer on and we got all up there and done. We got the whole entire front done. And I just put this top layer back on. Now we got just the last side done and sheathing will be on. And then we'll put on some uh, Tyvek. And then we'll throw the windows in. The door's in, the roof on. Move in. <laughs> I wish it was that fast. Are you stressed? No. I'm very, very hungry and thirsty. Let's go eat. You are a stink boy. No, oh, Pappy calls me that. Pappy calls you a stink boy. Howdy. So it has been downpouring Howdy. all morning. So I just put the baby down for a nap and it actually kind of broke in the rain. It's just sprinkling right now. So Elias and I are headed over to the house to see what everyone's working on. I believe they were going to work on putting in the steps. So we'll see what the progress is. But Elias is wearing this really cute rain jacket that I got a Goodwill, so I got to show you guys. Elias, show me rain jacket. You look so good. This is always a good sign when I come over to the house and I see lots of vehicles. That means lots of people are here helping. And I'm putting in the steps. Say hi, Donald Duck. Oh, hi there. <laughs> you going there <laughs> and these are the steps there. Hi, babe. Hello. You didn't even look at the camera. That's better. <laughs> Now we're walking back over to the house. We've been in the camper for a few hours and it's raining pretty steadily right now. We just can't be in the camper any longer. The kids and I are losing our minds. So we're going over to see 
what they're doing. Hopefully there's progress because it's been a few hours since we've been over at the house. Here we go. Okay. Sounds good. The steps look excellent. All right, babe, what are you working on? Huh? I'm working on uh, putting some tar paper here so we can put some stone on it. progress. Almost done actually. And the reason we put that black stuff on the house is because we're going to put stone on the front of the house and the front of the garage up to that point. So it's going to be all stone. It's going to look nice. James is getting the ladder out of here since we have the steps now. I offered to help, but per usual, he wanted to do it by himself. Look at this guy, he doesn't stop. When he's not working on the house, he's changing the oil in my car. Just ignore that tent, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Hi babe. Hello. On to car number two. Elias, are you feeding Tiger Lily? You want to go see the chickens? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Aw, did you bring me a flower? Thank you. That makes me happy. Elias brought me a flower. Levi. Huh. You got to switch here. It's okay. Entryway. Okay. Switch here. Living room lights. Okay. Living room fan. Okay. I like it. And so that's when you come in. Sorry, that light's bright. So you're in the foyer. You're walking through this walkway and to your left here with that light switch. Okay, I like it. This is also a living room light. Okay. It's a little overkill, but it's fine. This is your kitchen light in here. Okay. This is your bar light right here. Okay. This is a flood light for out there. Okay, I like it. This is a door light for this door and the garage door. Okay. Porch lights all the way around. Okay. This is your dining room light right here. Okay. And then covered porch lights out there. I like that. Then you have this switch in here, which is living room light, hallway light here. So you can control the living room light from three different locations. Yes. That's nice, I like it. It's a little overkill, but. No, I like it. So now we're going into the master bedroom in the hallway. Now okay. you got lights in our bedroom, fan in our bedroom. Perfect. When you come over here, you have Bedroom lights. Okay. Porch lights. Okay. All the way around. Okay. Covered porch lights right up here. 
For the three seasons room? Yep. Okay. And then plug lights are out there as well. I like that setup. The maze, we need to find out if we're going to get wire uh, lamps for the bed that turn on and off with a switch on it, or if, we're, if I'm going to have to install a switch right here. Ooh, let's just get one with like one of those pool chain things. But right I like that. Here. So the king size bed is going to go here, and then we're going to have lamps on the wall and on the side. You're going to have this light switch. Is that the bathroom? Okay, so in the bathroom. Okay. Bathroom. What's it control? And you have vanity light. Okay. Shower okay. light and the rest of the lights in here. Then you're going to have an exhaust fan right here. I like it. I need to put that on here. You writing it? Yeah. So. Okay. What's in the powder room then? Powder room. The toilet bathroom. The toilet room. So yeah. you got a light yeah. switch. And then you're going to have a separate light for this exhaust fan. There's two exhaust fans in here. Okay. And then in here, you're just going to have a single light for the... I like it. I unfortunately haven't really gotten any footage of James putting in the electrical outlet boxes and light switch boxes, if that's what you even call them, because he keeps doing this when I'm at work, which is fine, but I don't have any footage of it. So I'm recording a little bit of what he's doing tonight. So this is what he does. He measures and marks where it goes, which he already did. And then he just holds a little box there and nails it in. And that's where an outlet's gonna go. And James, who's doing our electric? I am. That's right. Homeowner. My baby's doing the electric. <laughs> okay, so I just got the measurements of the room here. Okay. <coughs> Dead center is 51 inches from here to there. Okay. Dead center over here is 64 inches from here to there. Okay. I just put my laser light on there, which is like a plumb bob. And you can see where the laser is hitting on the joist there, the red laser. So that's where you know the middle of the room is. That's the middle of the room. So it's cool. close enough. I'm just going to put the light right on the side of that joist. No big deal. This will just be a dome light. Simple's that. The lighting's not going to be too hard or anything. The, uh, it takes a while to figure out where you want your switches. That's the hardest part. Where you want your lights is a no-brainer. Unfortunately, here we have the light up here, which we got them in several places. Okay, so way up here on the cathedral ceiling, we have a, uh, that is a light. It's going to be a fan light. The hard part about that is it's actually going to be placing the fixture up there because I have no ladder or anything that's going to go up there. It has to be a step ladder. Uh, we used an extension ladder and we put it right against the trusses to be able to get up there before. How high is that? About 20 feet? Oh no, that's only about eight, 16 to 18. Okay. Got one in the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, and we got one in the foyer. The oh foyer. yeah, there's one in there too. The foyer is the highest. That's going to be a good 20 feet in the foyer. The foyer? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because you don't have that pendant chandelier way up there. Yep. That one. That's, okay. dead, that's dead center of that window. It should look really nice. I'm excited about it. Big chandelier up there. He wants the antler chandelier, but I want a black farmhouse like pendant light chandelier, one of the big ones with the little lights in them that look like flames. But he wants an antler chandelier. It was just snowing. Donald Duck, are you cold? No. Nah. <laughs> it's cold out here. Happy Halloween and this is awesome. <laughs>